it had never been easier than this to take quick notes to quickly look at your existing notes and work with them. In this video, we are going to talk about a new application called as Quick Sticky Notes or QS Notes in short. Let's take a look on what this Quick Sticky Notes is and how it can help you. Quick Sticky Notes is an application that I have made myself. Let me take you through a quick overview of what this application is, what this can do and how you can use it in your existing workflow. Quick Sticky Notes is available on uh, App Store. So I'll provide the link in the description. It will not be immediately visible when you search over here uh, in the source because it has recently been published. So you can check it out from the link in the description. So we have Quick Sticky Notes. You can install it and once you open it, you will go through the onboarding view. The major features of this application are floating nodes, which means all of your note will stay on the top of other windows. This is easier when you are working with something else and you don't want to lose your reference or you don't want to lose your note. Then it has markdown support, which means if you are using Obsidian or any other markdown based application, you will be able to uh, integrate this application with those tools. And then it has local storage, which means all of your files will be stored locally, just like Obsidian. And it is also compatible with other applications, just like I said, with Obsidian or any other Markdown based apps. And it has global access key, uh, which means you can trigger this application using global shortcuts so that you can quickly take notes, quickly look at the references, etc. Uh, you click on continue and here you will need to choose where you want to save your notes. This application works independently, but if you want to integrate it with existing system, then you can just uh, choose a directory where you already have your nodes. I use Obsidian and I'll just select my Obsidian vault here. I'll just go to choose directory and I'll select the Obsidian vault, click on open and it will be configured. Click on continue and here you can uh, set keyboard shortcuts that you want to use with this application. I just use control n for new note control l for all nodes and for recent nodes control r continue and click on get started now i just close this app store and now you can use the keyboard shortcut that you previously assigned or you can also see here we have it in the menu bar like we have the option for new note recent nodes and view all nodes so i just press the shortcut control l and it will open this nodes from my vault uh, from my obsidian vault and here are all of these nodes there are 1999 uh, nodes currently and let me make it bigger okay uh, here you can change between two columns or three columns and here we have the option to sort these nodes by modified date created date uh, and alphabetical order both ascending and in both ascending and descending order then here we have the option to source for your nodes. You can quickly source for your nodes like this. And it will display all of your nodes that match this source. Then here we have the import button which will allow you to import existing markdown files and those markdown files will be moved to this folder, to this folder that you selected previously. Now. I'll just uh, close this application and here I'm in Obsidian. I'll open a browser, okay? And I'll just go through stories over here. And now what I can do is, I'll just, I can just press the shortcut Control N or Control R that I assigned previously. Let's say I uh, press the shortcut uh, Control N and it will create a new note window. I'll just uh, resize the window to make it smaller and place it on the side. This is a new note. This is the content of the node. Great. And here you can also see we have color options. Uh, you can choose from different colors. Uh, you can also select a custom color over here. I'll just choose a red color. Okay, I'll just add this color. And now we have a different color over here. You can also delete these colors that you added. Or if you do not like this color, you can add more colors over here. And you can also go to preview mode and editing mode. I'll just write in markdown, okay? Editing 2. So this is the current limitation of this application. That is, it does not support live preview mode. And I tried to uh, add support for live preview mode as well. I worked on implementing this feature for five days straight and I was not able to do it. I was able to get some of these workings like headings, a live preview, 
and uh, checkbox items but not completely all i found a reddit user that said it took the beer application beer is another note taking application and it took the beer team almost two to three years in order to perfect this uh, markdown live preview mode with swift implementation so this is a native mac os application and it is very hard to implement the markdown live preview supports that is why i dropped the idea of working on the live preview mode and instead focus on something else that is more better and here we have these different options now you can also open these nodes and you have the different color over here okay you can move this here resize them and place them over here you can create multiple nodes and you can keep them as a reference over here if you want to close these nodes you just have to press this button or use the shortcut keyboard shortcut command w now if you want to view your recent notes you can just press the keyboard shortcut Control r that we have assigned previously and you will have all of the recent notes that you have opened so that you can quickly open these notes in a floating window this application works on the top of markdown files just like obsidian and it does not store any data all of your data is stored locally so you do not have any chances of losing your data or you, uh, your data being locked up let me show you how uh, seamless uh, this works with obsidian okay uh, I'll just op open Obsidian app on the side and open one of these nodes. We have the node over here and I'll just write heading 3 and you can see it being changed on this uh, window as well. I'll write something over here, heading 2 again and it will appear over here immediately because this is working on the top of locally stored files and the only thing that this application does to your existing markdown nodes if you use this application is adds three properties color property a created property and modified property so i just uh, i just have this color over here if you look into the properties section you can see the color is citrus if you change the color you can see the uh, color had changed to magneta which is a system defined color uh, for this application and if we talk about the pricing, it is priced at $14 per month. Oh, sorry, not $14 per month, $14 for a lifetime license. Currently, the only premium features are the keyboard shortcuts as well as the colors. And if we talk about the new features, the first thing that I'm focusing on right now is a iOS companion for this quick sticky notes application. And in the second, I'm thinking about creating a sync between iOS application as well as the macOS application. I don't know how I will do it or how it will happen, but I just have the idea or that vision in my mind to seamlessly sync between the iOS application and macOS application. This is a quick sticky notes application that will allow you to use your existing markdown notes in a better way. You will be able to quickly refresh your notes. Like uh, you can just press the keyboard shortcut Control L, source for your note, or you can uh, open your recently modified or recently created notes directly from here, and it will be visible directly over here. And you will be able to make some changes to it. Uh, you will be able to add new content. You will be able to remove new content. And if you are doing something like writing and you want to take a reference from those notes, you will be able to do that. So this is all about the quick sticky notes application. I hope you found this video useful and you also will love the application and show some love to the application. The app store link will be available in the description. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great time. See you again. Have a nice time. Bye.